Mumbai is our next stop. The spirit and resilience of my home country defines this humanity and the courage that we need to hold it in our hearts to keep taking whatever actions we can, big or small, to protect our planet and lift up our brothers and sisters around the world. Namaste. Thank you, Priyanka, and namaste to the millions of global citizens standing with us in New York City, Rio, Paris, Seoul, LA, Johannesburg, London, and Sydney. We are connected across our planet today in defense of our planet and to make sure that leaders hear us say, this is the moment for change. A part of this global campaign is to call on the G7 and the European Union to back India and South Africa's proposal to waive intellectual property for COVID-19 vaccines and demand that manufacturers openly share the life-saving technology with all developing countries. Before we begin with the electrifying performances, I have the pleasure of introducing someone who actually needs no introduction. An actor par excellence, a philanthropist, a legend, an icon, and a true global citizen the one and only Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and fellow citizens, Namaskar. My name is Amitabh Bachchan. Welcome to this edition of uh, Global Citizens Live. We stand together today on the thresholds of multiple changes that are sweeping all of humanity. Climate change, the pandemic, social inequities at all. Our challenges are unique in many ways. There is nothing in our history which matches the size and scale of the threats we are facing today. There is nothing to look back for best practices. Never in the past have so many perils arisen at once across the entire planet. Our very existence as humans is at stake. We have but two choices, stand up and fight or surrender and perish. My dear fellow citizens, our coming together on this platform today is evidence that we will stand up and fight. We will not surrender and we shall not perish. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our new introduction. Ladies and gentlemen and fellow citizens, I now have the great pleasure of introducing a leader whose vision and attention to bring change has helped India redefine its purpose and presence in the global arena. Please welcome the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaste. It is a delight to address this young and energetic gathering. Friends, in addition to COVID, other challenges remain. Among the most persistent of the challenge is poverty. Poverty cannot be fought by making the poor more dependent on governments. Poverty can be fought when the poor start seeing governments as trusted partners. And therefore, our efforts include banking the unbanked, providing social security coverage to millions, giving free and quality health care to 500 million Indians. It will make you happy that about 30 million houses have been built for the homeless in your cities and villages. Friends, 
what can be a better manifesto for a global citizen than this? May we keep working together for a kind, just and inclusive planet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you, Mr. Bachchan and Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for your inspiring words. Every day we hear of plant and animal species disappearing, the green cover around us literally getting invisible. We are living in a real-time climate emergency. The effects are everywhere and the consequences are unimaginable. Let's kick off Global Citizen Live with a music composer, producer, singer, and lyricist. He definitely juggles many hats and is here to regale us with some of his biggest hits. Give it up for Thanish Bakshi. Nach, 
में तेरी मलू गुलाल रंग बता बुलू या लाल एर में तेरे उड़ते बाल आ जा रंग दू दोनों गाल अरे सारा रा रा अरे सारा रा रा अरे सारा रा रा कभी रा सारा रा रा बेबी के देखे झुमके लगा दे जादू झुमके चिचोरे ना चिचमके रे यूपी में बिंदा हार बिंदार चित पे तार हम देखे आगे फाड़े रे अरे 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 तो चपेट की है मेरी ना की नजरिया तुझको बना करके तुझको बना करके तुझको हमारे बीट में डांस करने के लिए धन्यवाद खाना खा के जाइएगा वाह ओपनिंग और इन माय ट्रेडमार्क वर्ड्स झकास मीनिंग एक्स्ट्रो ऑर्डनरी द ओनली चांस वी हैव ऑफ विनिंग द वॉर अगेंस्ट क्लाइमेट चेंज इज इफ वी एम्पावर द यूथ टू टेक डिसीजन एंड मेक द चेंज इज रिक्वायर्ड कमिंग अप नेक्स्ट वी हैव वन सच यंग लीडर who by his vision and determination is all set to script a new future for the state of maharashtra please welcome cabinet minister of tourism and environment for maharashtra the dynamic aditya thakre thank you anil ji namaskar mumbai it is amazing to know that the entire world has tuned into us this evening you know we can be so proud of this movement the largest cause based festival in world history today global citizens artists world leaders have mobilized across the globe this is a historic moment as maharashtrians continue to show the world we are true global citizens connected by a common bond of humanity and as the pandemic has shown to a common fate nothing demonstrates a collective fate more than the perils of climate change we all face today in the middle of a global pandemic where an impending economic downturn is upon us it goes without saying that these are indeed unprecedented times are we becoming like the lost generation who would be responsible for the decline of globalization or do we redefine collective human effort for the progress and welfare of our mankind to start with let us remind ourselves every day that to get to a point of inflection and to ensure a paradigm shift takes place in our battle against climate change we need to make a continuous effort to realize and instill a mindset within the people we have to realize that we have not inherited lands and resources from our ancestors but have borrowed it from our future generations while rapid industrialization and urbanization have greatly benefited maharashtra's economy it has also rendered us more vulnerable to the impacts of climate change from our 720 long kilometer coastline that protects us from cyclones to our historic 750 kilometer long western ghats the sahyadris 
our state's diverse natural heritage is at risk, making our 112 million citizens exceedingly vulnerable to the impacts of anthropogenic climate change. Maharashtra has seen a staggering seven-fold increase in droughts and a six-fold increase in the frequency of extreme flood events since 1960. In the last year alone, the state has borne climate-related expenses of over 14,000 crores, almost $2 billion, due to increased natural disasters. This just reinforces the bleak reality that climate change is the greatest inequity. The most affected are the ones least responsible. In Maharashtra, we're taking this climate action movement to the people. We're talking about climate action with them and not at them. We're creating a movement by involving local administrators and our civil society. The idea is simple. We have turned back in time to bring forward the idea of protecting the five elements of nature, namely, bhumi, that is earth, vayu, air, jala, water, urja, energy, and akash, that is space. We call this movement Maji Vasundhara. In our first year of the Maji Vasundhara Abhiyan, we have planted over 2.1 million trees, implemented thousands of rainwater harvesting facilities, cleaned over 775 water bodies, installed 1.2 million LED lights, set up over 736 biogas units, 701 solar pumps, and 104 charging points for electric vehicles. Our collective efforts have resulted in the state saving over 11,145 million liters of water. Taking this local action to the global stage to inspire action in the global south is also our mission. We have decided that 43 cities of Maharashtra, representing a floating population of 65 million people, will sign up for the race to zero. To ensure a green mass transit system, nearly 50% of our public fleet will be electric before 2025. I repeat that the time to act is now. At this point in time, Mumbai's public bus services are plying about 386 electric buses, emission-free and sound-free. We will be adding another 2,100 electric buses to this fleet by 2023. We also realize that leadership from women is extremely essential to address climate change. To ensure greater participation, Mumbai will work with C40, Women for Climate Initiative, to set a precedent for the rest of the country to follow us. To ensure that our future generations develop a climate lens, we're introducing climate change and sustainability syllabus in our primary education system with UNICEF. Today, we join a world united by music and united as a movement for change. I hope you find it as inspiring as I do to see the power of hundreds of millions of young people, young girls and boys, men and women, watching tonight and taking action tonight as global citizens. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Maharashtra. Rising sea levels, encroachment of deserts, uh, issues that relate to drying up of rivers, uh, the solar management of the planet, all of these things have an impact on the air our children breathe and the water they drink. What would their world look like in 2050? Will they be able to enjoy nature like I did in my childhood? And it's a question also in giving hope to next generation. I don't want uh, them to be the victims of the decisions that we are not able to take today. They will ask themselves a simple question. Why didn't our parents act sooner to stop climate change? That's why all of our governments should take part in a global effort to address these issues. Next generations deserve our responsibility and our awareness. Next generations will be committed to this transformation and they will carry it in some way in their DNA. Young people have unlimited potential to change the future of our planet. They are the source of hope and power of change. COVID brought us closer to nature, closer to the idea of protecting our biodiversity. So that gives me the optimism uh, and, the, and the sense that there's a window of opportunity here that we must grab to really deal comprehensively with the climate change threat. But it starts with each and every one of us, every day. It's serious, it is urgent, but there's hope. It is up to us, it is time to act, and we can do it.
being global citizens. It's moments like these that will define the way ahead for future generations. But talking about future generations, let's try and imagine the world that they will inherit. A world where trees are replaced by concrete mega structures, where clear blue skies are invisible, where natural habitats of birds and animals are usurped by human greed, where safe to breathe air would only be available in a can, where millions of human beings are displaced and have nowhere to go after losing their homes to climate change. Most of these scary scenarios are already taking place around the world. Let's make ourselves heard loud and clear this evening and save this planet in whatever way we can. It's all we have. Let's defend our home. As far as my limited understandings go, climate change is a change that we had neither expected, nor do we want a change in the climate. For my generation, this is a change because the climate was not like this in the past. The kind of excessive rains, extreme summers, frequent fire, shortage of food, drinking water, clean air, and natural resources for sustaining life on Earth, the kind and degree of such that we are seeing today have never been seen before. This is a change for me. Perhaps this is not a change, or a very great change for the new generation. Because to the generation of today, this is the climate they were born with. Our first duty then is to show them what a good climate is all about. And then hope and pray that they will find ways and means to make that change possible. Or bring about the relevant change. We cannot do this by ourselves. I don't think so. For had we known how to save the climate, we would not have destroyed it in the first place. So to begin with, I shall admit my incompetence, take responsibility for the change, and moving forward shall trust and support the new generation to save the earth and save life as we know it so far. Hello, Namaskar. A very good evening. Having been closely involved with the Global Citizen Festival right here in Mumbai almost five years back, I realized the power of the youth, the power of music to bring about a change. I believe we are currently fighting one of mankind's toughest battles. And strangely enough, we are our own enemies. Over the years, human beings have recklessly used and abused planet Earth's resources, indiscriminate minings, limitless reforestation, unplanned urbanization, nightmarish carbon footprint. All this has left us with almost negligible green cover. The question we need to ask ourselves is, is this really progress? At what cost? This is the moment. Move the world one action at a time. Thank you. Tonight, 41 million people are on the brink of starvation. A hunger crisis brought about in no small part of the heating up of our planet. It's time we raise our voices for one of the most basic human needs. Talking about making some noise, next up we have a performance that is sure to echo not only in Mumbai but also around the world. While this boy may be bad, this rap is sure very good. Give it up for bad boy Shaw, Basha. Chadegi kya? 
वन टू थ्री गाड़ी के बोनट से निकले परी लौंडे आगे कहीं टिकते नहीं बातें हैं कैडी मेरी लिख ले कहीं चल निकले कहीं बंदी के मुंह से निकले चीख हाथ पकड़ पर दिल न लगा जो कहती है करके दिखा सुनने में आया है तू मरती है हम पे मर के दिखा रहने दे मुंह बंद रख आंखें जो कहती है कहने दे बहुत रुकी है आज तू पानी बन के खुद को बहने दे शुभोए बादशाह जब मुझे वो दिखी थी वो सबसे अलग थी वो सबसे हंसी आंखें मेरी फिर उसकी आंखों से जो मिली एक बारी दो बारी फिर निकली हंसी एक हाथ हवा बिच तुझे च गलास मैनू नहीं पता सी गलास चुकी बट हौली हौली लग न घुमा के नचती तक दी मेनू तक दू माहौल में टेंशन बढ़ने लगी खुदा की कसम न कभी मैंने पी और फिर भी थोड़ी थोड़ी चढ़ने लगी रुका ना गया मैं गया ओ देखो सरा वो ना चौक वो कहती मैनू बो मैं ओ दे नेड़े जाके ओनू पूछया बेबी डू यू फ्रीक लाइक यू डांस किस यू डांस लाइक अ प्रो हिलती है वैसे मत हिला लगे मुझे रहेगी रब से मिला बारी तेरी हार देना चंचला तेरी माँ ने तुझे बड़ा किया क्या खिला कर रुक जाए तो वन गेट डाउन लो कर लो रे हम थोड़ा मेरी मान लो ऐसे मेरी जान न मेरी जान लो ऐसे मेरी जान न मेरी जान लो ढूंढा बट कोई ना निकली कमी पैरों के नीचे से निकली जमी बंद भी करो अब कर नीज हाथों को छोड़ के कहता हूँ प्लीज
मुंडो के दिल पटक पटक सांसे जाए अटक अटक आता माजी सटक सटक बम तेरा गुदे खाए कमर पे तेरी बटरफ्लाई बॉडी तेरी मक्खन जैसे खाने में बस तू बटर खाए कम ऑन बेबी किकिट किकिट काटू तेरी टिकिट टिकिट खेलता नहीं क्रिकेट विकेट पर ले लूँ तेरी विकेट विकेट बड़ो लो केरे बेटी लो लंबा लंबा चू जैसे दिमाग में कीड़ा लगे मिट्टी जैसे शकर शकर हज चला ले चकर चकर बाकी के लौंडे बकर बकर I am the baddest mother heart beat missing जब तू लुक में इंदी आई love तेरा baby मुझे take me to the sky promise of water never coming down from your eye you are my jaan baby कहना कुछ भी पहले ही दे दूँ वार्निंग पार्टी चलेगी टिल सिक्स इन द मॉर्निंग जी भर के नाच ले बेबी नाच नाच के तोड़ दे सेंडल लंटी पुलिस बुला लेगी तो यार तेरा कर लेगा हैंडल सूचना जनहित में जारी जिसको जान प्यारी चुपचाप वो फ्लोर पे आए फ्लोर पे आके नाचे गाए नगरे वगरे ना दिखाए शर्म को कर दे बाए बाए माइकल जैक्सन वाले दो तीन एक्शन करके दिखाए पार्टी करनी है पार्टी करेंगे किसी के भी पापा से नहीं डरेंगे हम हैं बेटे हम बाकी सारे पानी कम हमको रोक के दिखाए जिसके बम में है दम The party is starting. I'm 
ना वो जाके अपनी भैंस चराए Good evening world and a big hello here from Mumbai. The magnitude of damage we've already done to our planet is colossal. As an animal lover, I'm especially concerned about the number of species that have already gone or are on the verge of going extinct. But it's not just the animals who are under threat. Countless number of people around the globe exist in extreme poverty. They are deprived of basic sanitation facilities, nutritious food and clean drinking water. It's time for us all to take a stand to change this and to save our planet, our beautiful home. Defend the planet, defeat poverty. Namaskaram to all of you at the Global Citizen Live. This is the first time in the history of humanity that we have to talk about protecting this planet. As a generation, our generation, has taken the largest bite out of this planet. Whatever we do for the environment and ecology, today is neither service nor a great achievement. It is just a matter of survival. It is not the planet that's in peril, it's our lives. We are in this exploitative mode, not by choice, but out of compulsiveness. The only solution for this is consciousness. The only way is to turn inwards, as this destruction of the planet is happening in search of human well-being. We need to realize human experience is entirely caused from within. Ecology and human consciousness cannot be separated. None of this would be necessary if human beings understood that whether we like it or not, we are reverberating as a part of this existence. This is the understanding and experience that we want to bring to humanity. We want to bring large-scale awareness among the electorate, across the democracies of the world, about the most important issues of soil, water and climate change, and also highlight the solutions and make ecological and environmental issues as election issues. As a part of this, we are working towards a global target of planting one trillion trees. We are coming together to create a conscious planet. We want every human heart to beat for this. We want every human hand to participate in this, because this is going to happen only when humanity starts thinking and working together. Let us make it happen. Hello, everyone. This evening gives me immense hope. Hope that if we get together, we can script a new story for our planet. A story in which human beings don't pose a threat to planet Earth. The primary cause of most climate change is human, so the solutions lie in our hands too. You may wonder how a global problem can be solved by your efforts, but the fact is, even the smallest of steps, like using public transport or carpooling wherever possible, or carrying along your own reusable shopping bags, or planting a tree, will make a huge difference over the years. Because all stories deserve a happy ending, shouldn't ours too? The pandemic of COVID-19 has been a nightmare for all of humanity. Besides wrecking and grounding the ship of our growth, we've also been subjected to the trauma of a new kind of culture shock, a tremor and panic in which the mass is scattered randomly in every direction. The medical fraternity is risking their lives to save as many lives as they can. Some are trying to impose and administer order. Some are falling back on faith. Some are simply wilting under the strain and giving up their lives. Death was once again at the doorstep. How am I dying? What am I dying for? Is this what life is all about? An injury, a virus, a pain and death? No. No, not at all. Life is not about an injury. Life is not an accident. Life is not a battle against a virus. Life is not a funeral service. Life is about holding hands and rising. And so I say to all, hold my hand 
and let us rise together. Namaste world, Namaste India. I am so proud to be here at this milestone event, Global Citizen Live, connecting the world and to be able to connect on something that has affected us all. Last year on this time, I was diagnosed with COVID-19 positive. As soon as I heard the news, I was confused and uh, upset. It took me six, eight hours to accept the situation before I could even muster the courage to speak to the doctor. Emotionally, the whole recuperation process was something I've never experienced before because honestly, nobody knew what to expect. We still don't know for sure the long-term effects of the virus or many different types of viruses. All we know is that COVID-19 is still very much around. In such an unpredictable scenario, there is only one way in which we can fight the virus, and that is vaccination for each and every person on this planet. Now, the virus doesn't distinguish between rich or poor, young or old, male, female, or on the basis of nationality or geography. So then why should we? I am using the Global Citizen Live platform today to sincerely urge the governments and corporations to do all they can to ensure equitable distribution of vaccines. This is the moment. Let's move the world one action at a time. There are several reasons why we are concerned about the situation of anyone who lives on the other side of the world. The first one is that we are human beings and we can never remain oblivious to the suffering of others, wherever they are. It's not normal that the birth of place makes uh, the future of your hopes of life. Global citizenship means uh, someone who combines uh, their passion with compassion and asks, what can I do for others? We should extend our compassion to those who were not fortunate enough to be dealt with good cards. People who are uh, hungry, they don't have the energy to focus on other things and to focus on their life. So I think it is more than time now that we need to act now um, and to take our responsibility. We have to recognize the severity of the problem with refugees and right now with COVID-19. That argues for vaccination, for availability and access for everyone because we're all living on the same planet. The science was an extraordinary miracle. We got this vaccine out, boom, 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 boom. Okay, then everybody started to take control of their vaccine assets. Those who were producers grabbed their production assets, put export limits. God help us if this is what we're going to do on climate change, because that's a lot harder. Everything that is happening on this earth will affect other people directly or indirectly because if people go hungry, if, if we have a health crisis, if we have a pandemic like we have today, uh, we see the effects everywhere else. The pandemic has shown us our fragility as individuals and that all these challenges remain and are more urgent than ever. If I ruled the world, I would invest in the education of women and girls, because when women succeed, all societies do. This really makes me crazy to think that some men think that they know better what a woman has to do than the woman herself. I will never accept that, never. A global citizen is aware of the fact that we all share one planet, one health, one common destiny, and that every one of us matters. Wow, what an evening. Today, we demand that the world's wealthiest nations actually deliver on their promise to provide $100 billion every year to help developing countries respond to the climate crisis. As the sun sets on the city that never sleeps, coming up next, yet another musical act known for having his distinct musical style, this music director, singer, and lyricist has given Bollywood some of its biggest recent chart busters. Please put your hands together for Amit Trivedi.
देखेंगे हम कल का चेहरा ओ पथरीले सीने में दुबला सा देखेंगे हम लावा गली अगर लगी अगर लगी डूबे ना डूबे ना जज्बा ये डूबे ना मगर लगी अगर लगी कल होगा क्या क्या तो किसको जगा देंगे कल को अंदर भी झुका देंगे है जज्बा है जज्बा सुलझा लेंगे मुझे रिश्तों का मजा आवाजा 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 आवाजा
Hello and namaste. It's a great privilege to be at Global Citizen Live. With all the pain and hardship that the COVID-19 pandemic has inflicted on the whole world, the truth is it has gotten us together for a common cause. This pandemic has shown us that no matter where you come from, we are all equally susceptible to these testing times. We must therefore fight this virus together. Thanks to our scientists, we have a weapon to fight it, the vaccine. I know that there's still amongst us people who have concerns about the vaccine and are fearful of taking it. But I strongly believe it's our duty to educate and guide everyone, whether it's through your social media platforms or in-person conversations, take an active initiative to talk about the benefits and necessities of this vaccine, because only then can we begin to rebuild, reset, and rejuvenate. Thank you. Global Citizen Live is a united effort to hold hands, to help make the world a better place, and to ensure that those basic needs of life are there for everyone. We gather today to take a pledge and call on world leaders to drive change across areas such as climate change, poverty, and vaccine equity about social inequities, imbalances, sustainable development and harmony. What is right, what is wrong, what is true, what is false, what is good, what is bad. Such views and opinions of life are not subjects of popular administration. They are subjects of shared values, of shared virtues, of shared pride, and most importantly, a shared sense of life. I believe these are not driven by the politics of governance, nor by making laws, nor by economic strategies. I think these are driven by the common vision, the common vision of small voices in every single lane and community everywhere. From a household, a family, to the nation at large, in all of humanity as a whole. The same thread weaves the fabric. May everyone be happy. May everyone be healthy. This then is the vision and this the hope. Namaste everyone. What a moment and what a movement, Global Citizen Life. I am so pleased to be here again with this fantastic initiative and team to address issues like poverty, inequality, injustice, and climate change. It is apparent that what will happen in the future depends on the actions we take today. The larger issue is that countries most affected are the world's poorest. And this is not for poor countries to solve, but they continue to be the ones living most with the consequences, and it is just not fair. For developing countries like my home country, India, with large vulnerable populations, the challenge is immense. For India, a rise of three degrees centigrade or more in average global temperatures by the end of the century will severely compromise lives and livelihoods as sea levels rise crop yields fall, infrastructure is damaged, and other challenges emerge. This was evident in 2020, as floods in Cyclone Imphan in India accounted for the maximum loss of lives globally due to climate change triggered events, while we were still contending with the devastating impacts of COVID-19. The frequency and intensity of such disasters is clearly increasing, with catastrophic results for millions of our people. So, we take this moment to call on the G20 to keep their promise to provide an additional $100 billion annually to help the poorest countries confronting climate change. Without these funds, our countries will be left helpless. Only a few countries have been paying their fair share so far to reach this goal, and many large economies such as the USA, UK, Japan, and France fall short. Please, world leaders, let's lead the world to a better place for all. Let's unite and solve the climate crisis. For people, for planet, let's defend our planet.
Welcome back to Gateway of India. This evening's we dream of a future where no one, just no one on the planet, has to sleep hungry. We need the world's billionaires and the G7 economies to immediately provide the six billion dollars urgently needed to ensure millions of meals for those on the brink of starvation. And now the grand finale. A performance that captures the spirit of Maharashtra and India for its hospitality to an invocation to Lord Ganesha to thanking Mother India and celebrating its rich bounty. Give it up for the musical genius of Ajay Atul.
Vande Mataram, a truly goosebumps-inducing moment. Global Citizen Live is a movement like no other, and with this amazing event going across the globe, we unite the world through music. What a fantastic way of bringing together a blend of talent, genres, cultures, and people from across six continents, from legends of rock to the biggest pop stars of the new generation, from classical and country to the very best from my own home of Bollywood, as you have just seen and enjoyed. And I am hoping, regardless of the time, where you are, we got you all dancing and also thinking about the changes we need to bring about for a better tomorrow. And now, it's time to move and groove even more as we are going to the home of Afrobeat, Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you.